How's everyone going today? So this is uh, Ryan with Skyarc Vending. I'm about to say, I already went ahead and did, I got about two videos of me doing, this is going to be collection video number three. Um, so, I had actually gone out and collected, uh, I think, three of my machines prior to these two videos. And I'm trying to get them to let me do videos. One's a bar, one's my buddy's, both of my buddy's shops. So hopefully they'll let me do it in there. Um, my pinball machine that had the bouncy balls in it, I don't know if you guys have seen that one in my later videos. I've changed that one out to gumballs. And that has actually increased the profit up by about 75%. So boom, so we went from about $1.25 a week. I just did it one week just to see how much we did. We did almost three bucks. So that's increased quite a bit. Um, and that was a request by a couple of the people that work there. And let's see what else. If you guys are new to this channel, you guys can go down there, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Got a whole bunch more content coming out. Um, and then in one of my other locations, which is uh, it's called Big D's on the Hill. And it's the one with the video and what my new machine looks like all filled and the stickers on it. Um, it had only been there like four days. And one of them, I was there probably maybe, I don't know, eight hours. And the lady behind the bar took it and put it in the back room. Apparently it's because somebody called me and said they had a DJ and they had to move it. I don't know why they just didn't move it to the other side of the bar. Instead, they decided to put it in the back room, which it's not going to make any money in the back room. So I'm glad I showed up four or five days later because it was still sitting back there even after they told me they moved it back. So now it's put back. It's got more candy in it. I talked to the owner. It should be set. It shouldn't mess with it. I hate when that's one of my pet peeves. The same way from a bounce house is when people stop moving my equipment and stuff like that. I understand sometimes you have to, but... When those machines are pretty heavy and you start moving that stuff, you got the chance of dropping it. Those machines are anywhere from 50 to 60 pounds. So dropping one of those could really be kind of an issue. Um, but anyways, for this weekend, I collected a grand total of 1875 for pretty much on most of my other machines. It's going to be a two-week collection. As compared to on 3919, I only did $7.75. So, boom! So even on four or five days, my other bar, new bar location, has already done about eight, nine bucks in like six days. So, boom! So, in my caption, you're going to see this. So I'm actually going to put a couple of links down below. One is for my sticker guys. So the guy, the all the stickers that you guys see on my machines, I'm going to put a link down below for him. He charges pretty much two dollar or a dollar for every two stickers. So compared to Gumball uh, or some of the other websites, they're they're asking anywhere from like three or four dollars plus shipping just for one sticker. So um, I definitely highly recommend him. Um, I paid him through the Instant Messenger app. He had him shipped to me next day shipping, and I got him legitly the next day. So. Um, tell him that Skyark Vending sent you, send him a message, he'll get you guys hooked up. I'm also going to put a link to this, you ha you guys have to get one of these. So this is a little kitchen scale, I'll put the link down below for Amazon, it cost me like $12. Um, I also, the reason I went out and I checked all these machines in about 4 or 5 days, is because I got a call of them complaining that they weren't getting enough candy. And... I'm like, well, you can never get enough candy for a quarter. So I went out, and you should be vending about half an ounce per quarter. Roughly is a good number. And I think I was doing like 0.28 of an ounce. So I was not I was doing barely over a quarter of an ounce per quarter, which is good for me. I was making like 80% profit. But the customers don't really like only getting like three M&Ms and... Uh, three peanut M&Ms and maybe six regular M&Ms. They weren't really happy with that. So I don't blame them. So I went out and got it all corrected. So this right here is going to be your guys' best friend. So like I said, I'll put a link below for one of those. And like I said, it cost me like 12 bucks, and it's perfect to take 
to the locations to make sure your, your machine is not feeding more than it's supposed to and that sort of thing so uh, nevertheless let's go ahead and get to the videos and I'll see you back shortly anything we might leave that one alone yeah we'll leave that alone that's right, gonna go to a different location This is what two weeks. Uh, here we go. Not too bad. One, two, three. It's a little bit dark, so it's kind of hard to see it. Isn't it? So this is pretty much after only like four days, and it's just pretty much I'm just up here to pretty much make it all organized, put back together, fill it up some more, get it all touched off. All right. Okay, let's see this one. Look at this. Everyone says Mike and I do the worst. So I'm averaging. Not too bad. It's hard to see that in here. So like I said, this is only after like four days. And it was in the back, so... Yeah, it was put back in the back. So like I said, I'm gonna fill it up a little and get it touched off. Um, but so that's only after, like I said, three days. And uh, they actually put it in the back because they got a DJ in, so. Alright, welcome back, welcome back. Alright, so if you can tell, and like I said in the, the collection, that one bubble, bubble gum machine, it did, what did it say, 525 uh, for two weeks. So, that's about, that's pretty good in my book. I mean, $10 a month, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not too, I'm not too disappointed with that. Um, now I'm expecting with my new candy machines to, to average my monthly income to go to about a hundred dollars in this. So my fourth month I'm expecting about a hundred bucks. We'll see. Might go lower. Might go higher. Comment what you guys think my fourth month is gonna do. So I'll flip it around here and show you guys how it, what I'm talking about as you invest and you get more locations, how it slowly keeps going up and up and up. So as you guys can see there, you guys can kind of see my dates I'm talking about. So 1-1 one, one to 131, I had two machines. I did 675, total profit of 498. Second month, I had a total of three machines placed. So I did 1565, came down to 1129 profit. Here I had 10 machines placed, but of course it's going to be four of those had only been on location for about four days, but still made a pretty big in Increases for four days of revenue from those machines. So, twenty six fifty after product costs and stuff like that brought the grand total to twenty thirty five with a seventy six percent profit. So, like I said, tell me what you guys think. It's going to be a total of fourteen machines for the whole month. But I say, tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment below what you guys think my fourth month is going to do as far as my total revenue just from 
these numbers. I'm hoping for about a hundred bucks, but we'll see. What's going on? So, like I said, if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure you, you do a big thumbs up. Like I said, big shout out to all my supporters. Um, Y'all are giving me tons of feedback. I love it. I'm enjoying it. The kids are loving it. They love watching them. Love all the feedback. Uh, they should be going with me finally on the next delivery. I bet say they were both actually sick this weekend, so they couldn't go with me again. Um, kind of, kind of missing them a little bit on the the helping me out. So, like I said, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'm also gonna do a video here shortly, of showing you how to do how I set my machines to the right amount of ounces. And I should also be doing a cleaning on a bounce house probably next weekend. So you expect to see that. And uh, yeah, a whole bunch more videos to come, man. Boom! See y'all later. This is Skyart. We out!